So shout out to the Shake Squad, Naughty Gang Stand Up, it's your boy Shake. And this is a quick update on my playmaking shot creator. I wanted to give you guys this update because the first time I shared this build with you guys at six foot seven, you guys had some misunderstandings of what he can do. He does get three Hall of Fame badges. And this is because he is a point guard. I did not make him a shooting guard. If you would have made him a shooting guard, you'd lose one of your Hall of Fame badges. So as a six foot seven point guard, the three Hall of Fame badges that I get are ankle breaker, difficult shots, and tireless score. Now, during his creation video, I mentioned that at six foot five, you would get elite dribbles, but at six foot seven, with an 86 ball control, you do not get the elite dribbles. I just got the 86 ball control at 87 overall. It's not gonna go much higher than that to get the elite dribbles, but it's great. I can still momentum, I can still speed boost a bit. I've already experimented with a lot of the elite dribbles on the PS4 and my other builds that are playmaker primaries. These are some of the current dribble moves that I'm using right now. This works for me at the moment. Pro 6, you guys can screenshot this or rewind it, take a quick look. I do change these a lot, you guys know that already. And if I find something else that works for me, I'm gonna be using it. And just a quick peek of some of the things I can do with these dribble moves, the reason why I kinda like them. You can kinda cross over pretty nice. It's actually so fast that it's a bit glitchy. But hey, you know, that's a 2K thing, not a, not a shakedown thing. <laughs> And now that I can momentum dribble, there's quite a few things that I can do with this archetype now. For example, the spin move momentum dribble. You can spin one way, it can also spin back the other way. So it's, it's a pretty good thing to be able to do from time to time. I think it's more just to, for show, if anything, but I think it's kind of cool to be able to, to momentum dribble now. And not to mention the crossover behind the back is also pretty good to be able to do as well. You know, it's always good to have that in your arsenal. And last but not least, I'm using a new jumper. Something I haven't used all year, but I used to use in previous 2Ks. It just dawned on me. Why not try something a little different? I'm using base 11, release number one, as fast as possible on the fastest speed. So this is a new jumper. I might slow it down a little bit just because I'm a shot creator and I get that difficult shots. So even if you jump in my face, if you're able to get back to me, I can still get it off. But I don't know, this is pretty good. And as you can see, I mean, it's a really quick release. Mint range, I'm getting green releases with it. So that's really all that matters. So back to the neighborhood. Let's see if Brian's got my money. Ah, uh, what up, Bucks? DJ, what up, man? Man, I would have been on time, but I was dealing with the aquarium people. All these people at my place, it's a disaster, bro. The aquarium people? Yeah, man. What are they man. doing at your place? I'm getting an aquarium at my place. It's right next to the food court. It's gonna be lit, bro. An aquarium in, in your place? Yeah, man. It's original, it's gonna be huge. Nah. I'm gonna fill it with like endangered species and everything. No, man, slow down. Is that even legal to have endangered species in your house? Yeah, man, I know people, you know what I'm saying? You gotta buy licenses and stuff like that. It's a big process, but I got it like that. No, so, man, baby. save your money. What do you mean you got it like that? I mean, I got money, so... I'm going to spend money, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to have money for a while, so I feel like, you know, just burn it out. Burn no, it out. No, 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 no. You got to save that money, man. And you're only a rookie. You got to save, man. Come on, bro. What you talking about? I know you. I see you in those cars, man. Oh, no. I take care of myself a little bit, but I save also. Save my money. Yeah, I got to go, man. You're talking about aquariums. Good to see you, though. All right, man. I'm a th I don't know. <laughs> I might keep it. No, man. Don't do that. So back to more important things. Oh, we're playing up against a pure playmaker. Oh, and I'm going to call this gameplay because we've got lots to talk about. Mainly gameplay, which is not something I've really discussed much this year. As you can see, we're running some plays. They get his ankles out the gate. They double team me, KD, open for the J, and he knocks it down. I got you, man. You know I don't miss. Now take a look at this. Moving forward, I'm gonna try my hardest to play pretty good defense against a very tall playmaker who's dribbling through my body. You know what's really weird about this? I remember distinctively, I used to refer to this as the yo-yo dribble. How you could just go behind your back, a defender could shut down your route. Look at these moves real quick, look at the spin move. They don't even know what to do. But the defender could shut it down. The ball would just get propelled forward and yo-yo back to your hands. And it was crazy because I remember distinctively in 2K15, Scott OG himself, look at this. 
That's excellent defense. All through the ball. He asked me if there's one thing you'd like to fix or change or there's a couple of things you'd like to see fixed for the next patch. This was in DM, direct message. He reached out to me personally. And, it, and that hasn't happened in years, man. It hasn't happened since. They don't just reach out to me to ask what should be put in the next patch. I guess they're reaching out to other people. Maybe they understand what already needs to be fixed from the community. Maybe, maybe they're watching the videos. But this is one of the first years I don't say anything about this. He's running in place, dribbling all through me. It's just crazy. And since I didn't say anything, I didn't reach out to him, no patch was done. This just lasted the whole year. I mean, the year's not over yet. But technically, this, this terrible dribbling, you know, no rewards for good defense and predicting, you know, somebody's dribble, this has never changed. And I hate for this to be a rant video, but it's gotta be. My man KD open in the corner, knocking it down. I'm going up against a pure playmaker. I'm an 87 overall. He's a 97 overall. He's been getting away with that kind of nonsense his whole career. Look at this shot contest. Damn near takes the man's eye out and he still makes it. Why is it when you leave your feet to block a shot? It's almost like you're not even there, but when you just stand in front of him and put your hand up, that matters more? Take a look at this, the slingshot. Snatch back move and he gets the three on me. <laughs> I bet he's really feeling good about himself. I do that all the time too, but you know, I don't know. What are they gonna do about that next year? KD wide open again. This is just a walk-on game. I know I shouldn't be taking it that serious, but it's the perfect place to point out some of the crazy stuff that's in the game. Look at this. My man snagging getting a header. <laughs> Looking like a seal out there. I don't know, I just thought this was a good matchup. A 87 overall versus a 97 overall. He's a pure playmaker, and I'm a playmaking shot creator. So I'm mostly a shot creator, but I'm still a point guard. Figured I'm gonna play him tight. It's a given on PlayStation 4. I don't always play this close on dribble gods and things like that. Right here, that's not a that's not a blow-by animation, man. That's that's a push-off. That's illegal. You can't use your right hand and just push off me. Some of these animations, man, like, they call it a blow-by, but he's pushing off me with his full arm extended. You know, that's illegal basketball. That's like a stiff arm. Anyway, we ran some plays this game. I, I didn't think this team was really going to beat us. Look at this again. Excellent defense. He won't lose the ball. Even when he does, he reacts faster than the defender does. When the ball gets plucked loose in real life, the reason why, you know, the player on offense is late to recover is because he's, he's surprised. He's shocked. He's confused. He can't believe the ball was knocked loose. But not in 2K, man. The ball gets knocked loose and he immediately gets it back. That's an excellent block by my man snagging. Here he is in the corner trying to dribble by me, finds an open look, and they get the bucket. But I had to make this video. I've been thinking about this all year, and it's crazy because I could have said something. You know, I felt like I could have said something earlier this year. I doubt they would have changed anything. Don't think that Shakedown has the biggest voice in the community. Look at this! Behind the back! That's like the most OP move in the game again! He goes through my body. I know what he's doing. He's gonna snatch it back. I don't get rewarded for good defense. I didn't say anything because 2K is notorious when it comes to gameplay. If you say something earlier in the year, good chance the game's gonna be ruined for the rest of the year. I've experienced that in 2K16, 2K14, 15. They make a, a, a gameplay change and then the rest of the year the game's kind of messed up. Look at this, I predict this. Going right through me. The laws of physics. Nothing, this, this reality, I, I must be on a different universal plane. Nothing that governs physics actually matters in this game. And I know you guys have been talking about this all year. It's just I haven't really done a rant about this. I haven't done enough. I haven't said enough. And again, it's not like 2K is going to listen to just me. They need like thousands of people to convince them. <laughs> and they prioritize everything so drastically different. You know, everything like you think that you, what you are saying is definitely going to make a change or be changed in the next game. And it isn't. Most of the time, they prioritize things like my team mode, microtransactions, 
new modes that they think we might like before they discuss it with the community. Venues and game types that are, you know, taking out things that they think that we don't really play, but we really enjoy. Yeah, the prioritization in that in that company, man. I, I don't even know what to say. Oh, I my oh, no. And look at this. This is what we really came to see. The spin move through the legs, through the body. So many big time mistakes physically in this game. I got to flop. I just can't take it anymore. And what's even crazier is that the majority of the time, they typically score off of this lack of physics, lack of ball tangibility. I mean, I feel like when we're playing this game sometimes, we're like in a whole different dimension. The ball can pick and choose when it wants to be tangible. That's a solid block, but it's a golden. We need instant replay. Look at this, I'm trying to get my 20 assists. KD fires off and knocks it down again. Up by 20 points against a pure playmaker. I wanted to show him what a real playmaker looks like. Where's my 20th assist? Baby Shaq cut into the basket and I get it. 79, 58. And I think we ended up fouling him. He gets his 10 points and 10 assists. So he can, he comes away with a double-double as well. But as a playmaker, you should know better than just drive up against a big man. You're not gonna get that shot. But anyway, this is my rant, guys. I just wanted to put my two cents in on this problem. I haven't said much about it all year. I've been too busy. But God damn, we gotta save 2K19. We cannot let this make it into the next game, especially if they've taken it out before.